What's going on, guys? Mick Manhattan again from the scene. Snobs back again with another five takeaways. And today we're talking about the Marvels trailer that just came out. And there's five things that I kind of walked away from. These are my takeaways from them. And I want to go over them with you. Now, remember, sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, what did you think of the trailer? What are some of your takeaways? Did you see anything that maybe I might have missed? Uh, so one of the things is that I see is that they're differing the space station headquarters from S.W.O.R.D., and they're calling it SABER, which is an acronym. Now, I'm not sure what that acronym is for. I have not heard of anything called SABER. There was a SABRO, which was an acronym for a hero in the Marvel Universe and comics. But I don't know what SABER is. Of course, SABER is another word for sword, though. And we do know what that is. So it seems very close. I'm wondering if this might be an evolution stage, something like that. But sword was very integral to many parts of the cosmic world and the comic books. And I thought they were building up to a big thing going into the movies when we've seen it hinted at but i wonder what we're going to get here is it going to be different are they trying to veer from it could they not use sword i guess we'll see as things come up but if you guys have caught that let me know what you think but i did think the headquarters overall look pretty cool next up is where is nick fury at in this it looks like he's very cleaned up looks like he's back at it in action now do the marvels take place after secret invasion i believe so because secret invasion is coming out first and as we know, Secret Invasion is going to take place during the blip and outside of, like seeing Nick Fury return. He's very grizzled and kind of beat up and older. Uh, but in this, he looks cleaned up, still has a gray in the beard. So going from there, I'm guessing we're going to see maybe Nick Fury doesn't meet his demise in Secret Invasion. So we'll see how it go plays out there once the show end, uh, comes up and this movie comes up. But it was good to see him. He is back on Earth in this when he goes to find Kamala. Uh, but I really want to know where he's at. My takeaway from this is uh, where do we go from here? What role is he going to play with Saber? And how is it going to play into the Avengers? If you guys know more, please let me know. Sound off. Next up, number three, Darben is here and played by Zowie Ashton. I do not know this actor. She's part of, you know, this is a gender swap uh, from the comic books. Uh, it could be cool to see. Of course, she's a Cree leader. Uh, who has the skin of a human, unlike the blue skin that you see from the other Kree. Uh, so it should be interesting to see how this kind of plays out, what her backstory will be. I know in the comics, um, Al, uh, I think it was Eldar and, of course, um, Dal Ben is, come in, and as part of the Kree, they overthrow and take over as Kree emperors. But it wasn't a huge story. It was just during one like cosmic battle. I don't know much more about them than that. I know they ended up dying in the comics. So be interesting to see where they go with this. Uh, but it is going to be a big thing to see Secret Invasion really deal with the Skrulls on Earth and the Marvels dealing with the Kree out in uh, on the Kree world. So what takeaways from that is that it's going to be interesting. And are we going to get a Kree Skrull war? Where is this going to go? So I cannot wait to check it out. Uh, next up for me is um, getting into this and trying really to understand the tone that they're going for here. Uh, it seems very fun, lighthearted, kind of in the realm of where uh, Miss Marvel was at and the show. And but it it does seem very different from what we've seen before. It seems like it's going to be more comedic in nature, which I like, and I like when they do that. And I really liked Miss Marvel for doing that in her series, uh, but how does this movie going to match up with everything else? Because again, we're getting Nick Fury back. Uh, we're getting where it's a continuation of Miss Marvel where that left off. We're finally getting um, uh, Captain Marvel back and Brie Larson and Monica Rambeau is back. Of course, as uh, I'm guessing she's going to be photon now. I'm not sure. We'll see. She's wearing a costume in it though. But for me, I'd really like where this tone seems to be. It seems adventurous in nature. It seems like it's going to be fun, team up type of movie. But how is it going to play? And that plays into my last takeaway, which is what are we expecting from this? So, with Marvel lately, uh, I am not a downer on phase four like many are. And going into phase five with Kang and uh, just kind of how Ant Man kind of pulled everything in, it doesn't seem like it's been the strongest. And uh, although I've been enjoying the movies, Overall, the big connection doesn't seem like it's 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 got a clear, concise direction other than Kang is here and we'll be making a couple of movies about him. You don't know where it's going to go with the Avengers. You don't know how everything's playing out. And I don't mind the mystery, but it doesn't 
when you get to these things, like when you get to Ant-Man and you feel like this is going to be bigger, connected to the world, or like we did with Doctor Strange and more, it just doesn't feel like it's hitting. So maybe we'll see some more in Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and where that goes. Uh, maybe that will play into its secret invasion and more. But right now, it still seems kind of directionless. But I am all in for the count. I can't wait. I love these movies, so I will check them out. What did you guys think of the trailer? Please let me know in the comments. What are your takeaways? Uh, what did I miss? Maybe I can go back and check things out. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Remember to check out the Scene Snobs. We have the podcast every Tuesday night. It's brand new, so you can go check that out live or watch or listen anywhere. Our Snobs Nation Morning Drive live show, which you can check out every Fridays. And this Friday, if you're watching this before April 14th, we are doing Casters for a Cause, a 16-hour live stream event. for uh, We're collecting donations for MS uh, Association of America to help find a cure for MS. So if you guys are interested, join in on that. we got a lot of great shows and a lot of great events planned. So that's going to be on the Scene Snobs YouTube channel. If you're watching this after, you can go back and check it out anytime. Thanks again for watching 5 Takeaways. We'll be back for more, so keep a lookout, hit subscribe, make sure to follow and like, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Take care.